Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. We are live in Eugene as FSU takes on Oregon. In the booth is T. Clink. Next to him is Coach Brusso. Take it away, fellas. Well, like Jimmy said, everybody, welcome into Eugene. I got beside me here Coach Brusso. Coach, we got two guys that's very familiar with each other. Scrimmage quite so often with each other. And they got two flying offenses. Jimmy found his groove on offense here and the defense side of the ball. Where we got Cincy always high flying on offense here. Coach, what are we looking for this game? It's really going to be, in my opinion, you know, strength on strength. You know, athletic team against an athletic team. So we're going to see exactly, you know, can Florida State travel up here to Eugene? It's a hostile environment up at Austin Stadium. And can can the Ducks kind of hold hold their ground here? If they've started to get a little bit of a momentum here in the second half of the season, can they can they uh, continue to keep that rolling here against a very I'm athletic FSU team? That's the thing is, can Oregon keep uh, their momentum going here? And we're going to see uh, Florida State get the ball here first, everybody. See what uh, Cincy and these Seminoles can do here on offense first. All righty here. Florida State return. We're going to take this outside out of the end zone here. Going to get out to about the 22-yard line here. It's Mr. Pittman on the return there. Good solid return there to get at least out to the 20 there, taking it out of the end zone. Whew. Beautiful day here in Eugene. Looks like it's getting a little bit nippy, but not too nippy like it is outside right now. Looks like uh, Florida's going to come out with four wide. Easy. Travis in the shotgun off to his left. He's going to hand this one off, and he's going to get room off to the left side. He's going to get about six yards. Tayshawn Ward with a good carry there, Coach. Yep, good counter play set up there. Guard did a really good job kicking out the end man on the line of scrimmage. Ward kind of knifed his way through, kept his feet moving, makes it second and manageable. See here, Florida State coming off the loss here against Oklahoma State. Now let's see what they can do here against this Eugene or. Travis going to take the snap, going to sling this one over the middle here to the wideouts, get the first down over to the right, and it's going to be another good play here for Florida State, keeping the chains moving, Coach. Yep, nice bunch set there, getting the Oregon DBs kind of off the line of scrimmage a little bit. You know, Travis does a really good job just taking what the defense gave him. Nice little, nice little drag route, takes it, move the chains. All righty here, we're going to get... Travis in the shotgun with Ward off to his right, two tight ends set, two wideouts. Going to be a draw play. It's going to be snuffed out by the Oregon defense. And it's going to be lost to two there for Travis. Oh, you saw that. You saw the linebacker walked up right over the center on that play, and the center really didn't do his his uh, quarterback any favors. And the linebacker just went scot free in for a two yard loss. Alrighty here, second and 12 now, five wideouts, empty back for Tra Jordan Travis here. Barking out some orders here. Oregon's also making some adjustments along the line. Travis is going to take the snap, going to sling this one. It's nearly picked off by Oregon. And Jordan Travis forcing that ball, looks like a little bit. Forced the ball a little bit, but if you'd have been, if you'd have been looking a little bit more vertically upfield, my goodness, the seam ball was there. The safety was flat-footed. The, the seam out of the slot was absolutely butt naked. But you know what? That's football. You live to see another down, and it's third and long here. Yeah, third and long here for uh, Seminoles' first drive here. See if they can convert here. Five wide again. Empty set for Jordan Travis. Making some adjustments here. Going to bring a receiver in motion from left to right here. Barking out some orders off to the right now. Going to take the snap. Going to drop back. Going to sling this one over the middle. It's going to be defended very well by the Oregon defense. It's going to be a 
Three and out for the Seminoles offense. Yep. Going back to going back to a similar play, taking the deep shot. The safety was a, was a little bit more, you know, aware of the situation, stayed on top of the route, forces a punt from the Seminoles. All right, now we get to see the Oregon offense coming out here. Line drive punt to Coda. Coda's going to take this one off to the right side. He's got plenty of room up the field across the 50, out to about the 41-yard line of Seminoles. Great field position for Oregon to start this drive. Yeah, gr great catch on the run. Makes the first guy miss. That, that's what you always tell your returners. If you can make the first guy miss, usually you're going to have yourself a very, very good return. You got 26 yards and plus territory to start off with the Ducks. Great field position here. Butterfield making some adjustments here. Going to get this off to Lou. Lou's going to take this one off the left side. Make a man miss. Going to get about a gain of seven there. And Levin Pepper Lou's off to a good start. Running behind his pad. That's what you always tell your running backs. You know, first would-be tackler came in. He said no mas, and then he, you know, kept kept his feet driving, gets seven yards. Running backs are running hard today, Clink. I can definitely tell that. Oregon's got the running game going. The last two games here, going to play action now here. With Butterfield going to take the snap, going to launch this one deep to Franklin. Franklin's going to be covered very well, but nearly caught, picked, then dropped to the ground. Nice play by both sides there. Unfortunately, Franklin was not able to get that one. Just a little bit. Maybe the wind came in, came into play a little bit there. We don't know. Um, just a, maybe a, a yard or two short on that throw. If he puts it on the back of the end zone, that's probably six. But, you know, not everybody's going to be perfect here, right? No, not everybody's going to be perfect. But nine Lou in this Oregon rushing offense has gotten going the last two games. Over 200 yards rushing for Lou the last two games. And this one's going to be flinged over to Kata. Kata's going to make a great catch in traffic there. First down, Oregon. Oof. say uh, old Butterfield's, you know, threading the needle a little bit. Took, took the throw right there. Got just enough, and we'll see what the Ducks can do. All right, Butterfield's making some adjustments here. Going to make a counterplay to Lou. It's going to be snuffed out by the Florida State defense. Brought down for a loss of one here. And Florida's so far playing the counter perfectly so far. Yep. And say the, I think they saw it once. They made some adjustments on the sideline. The DN was a little bit more patient. I think the first time he went a little bit too far upfield, kind of made the gap bigger than it needed to be, and the linebacker crashed down really well there for a one-yard loss. All right, here bringing the second and 11 here at the 31-yard line of the Seminoles. Butterfield going to take the snap, going to play action on Lou, going to roll out to right, going to sling this one over to Thornton. Thornton's going to make a great catch in traffic. First down, Oregon again. Oregon's driving very well so far this drive, Coach. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're mixing in the running game and the play action, just trying to keep, you know, the seminal defense, which is very athletic, very young, though, um, on their toes. And a very tight throw again by Butterfield. Butterfield making some great throws in traffic. Going to be a setup of screen. It's going to be snuffed out by the Florida State defense. It's going to, Butterfield's going to get brought down for a loss of eight on the in the backfield. Butterfield just had about another half a second to get rid of that ball. There wasn't many Seminole defenders on the right side of the Ducks fo formation. So very fortunate to send the pressure and get home. And it's second and 18. Second and 18 now here for Oregon offense. I'm going to take this one handed off to Lou. Lou's got plenty of room off to the left side. He's got to open nothing but green in front of him. Touchdown, Oregon. Jumps over the defender, get the touchdown. Oregon's on the board first, guys. Stretch play. The defender had a chance to make it. I think he went. He think he over pursued just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of defensive user lag going on. But you know, credit to Oregon driving down the field and up seven nothing. Great drive for Oregon. Make sure the pass and the run kept the Florida State defense guessing what they're going to do. Now Florida State's going to get this one. I'm going to just let this one go. Bring out the 25-yard line here. Start the second drive of the game. Now, now we'll see what the Florida State offense can do here. They did. They kind of had a little bit of a frustration on that first drive. Um, maybe a little bit of a telegraphing thing going on by Travis. But 
Maybe we see this running game and Ward get rolling here for the Seminoles. Yeah, when Florida State's been dominant, it's been mostly with Ward running the ball. It's going to be a fake handoff to Ward. Travis got plenty of room off to the right side. Going to make a man miss, get 10 yards on that play. Great read option play there for Jordan Travis to get this uh, offense going right in the first, second drive here. Right, especially if you're going to run your counters, you're going to run your inside zones. You better have a read option sitting in your back pocket just to keep the defense honest. And that's what Florida State did there, and it's second and basically a football. Tight set here for Florida. Going to take the snap. Travis going to fling this one over. Going to make a man miss, and it's going to be another good position. Uh, throw here for right to right, and it's gonna be another first down for Florida at the 40 yard line here. Similarly, play to what we saw on the first drive to pick up the first down. Um, just you know, d defense is playing a little bit on their heels, just wanted to take the under route and pick up the chains, not trying to get too cute with it. And you know, we're almost at midfield. This Oregon defense is very aggressive, you got to take what the defense gives you with this Oregon uh, defense for sure. Three wide set off to the right. Going to take this one. It's a counter play to Ward. Ward's got plenty of room off to the left side. Going to take, try to make a man miss, but he's going to get a gain of 13. A big, big play there for Florida State. Now on Oregon side of the field. Yep. Especially when, when you see that trips look and you run the counter away from it, your overhang defender, the, the third safety on the field, usually travels. So you might have to make some adjustments here if you're the Oregon defense. Tight set again, going to take the snap. Travis throwing off to his right. Going to sling this one. Barely got it off. Going to get it off to Helton. And Helton's going to get a 16-yard reception there. First down and 10 now inside Oregon. To deeper in Oregon territory here for Florida State. Great patience there by Travis to let the receivers get open. Yep. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all that you have the athleticism to get out of the pocket and really make those defenders choose. So. Yeah, because the defender was coming down. They were coming for sure, that drive. Travis now two backs and off to his left and right. Two wide outs to his right, one to the left. Making some just going to send this one off to the fullback there. He's going to get a gain of seven there. It's Benson. There we go. We, we, love, seeing, we love seeing the fullbacks get involved here. Um, you know, we are a pro fullback uh, network here. And, you know, big fella gets a bone every once in a while. And, you know, once again, second and manageable. That's the one thing you start, if you're seeing with this seminal offense, that they don't try to go for the home run right now. They're trying to, you know, stay in front of the chains. Definitely so. Ward off to the right side of Travis here, too. Wide out to the left. Oregon making some adjustments now. We're going to sling this one off to Ward. Where's the first down and more? Eight yards there on the reception. Down inside the 20 now and inside the red zone now to see if Florida State can capitalize. A little bit of, a little bit of, you know, shown a little bit of bailing there pre-snap. The underneath route was open. You know, credit to Florida, credit to Travis and Florida State. The coaches are seeing that there's room to be, to get underneath. And that's what they're doing. So a Philly off to the left, Benson off to the right of Travis here. Going to take the snap now. Going to roll out to his right. Got a defender pursuing him. It's going to be knocked down by the defender. Great play by the Oregon defense there. Definitely a great play. You know, tried to go back back to the well a little bit with the rollout, trying to get those defenders to commit or, or stay deep. And, you know, probably a half a second away from being a very, very good play or a very, very bad play. So, second and ten. Trips off to the right. Oregon making some adjustments there on the defensive side. Travis barking out orders to the right side there. Going to take the snap. Going to sling this one over to number 24. Going to pick up a gain of eight there. Going to bring up a third and very manageable now. That's to Travis Evie. There you go. I'm saying the, the, the one thing you like about Florida State, like we just talked about, staying in manageable situations. You know, being being able to have everything available in, in your playbook for this down, plus you can still get a first down inside the, you know, you're inside the 10 and a first down chance. Man, I really like this situation. Great situation, like you said, Coach, for Florida State. Now they just got to convert here. Third and two, five wide. Going to bring a man in motion. Going to do the QB power, and he's not going to get enough. Fourth and one decision time here for Florida State now. 
Great penetration there by the Oregon defensive line. Making Travis have to take that cut behind the line of scrimmage, right? If he makes a cut beyond the line of scrimmage, then it's usually not a good thing for the defense. But if you make him move laterally behind the line of scrimmage, that's when usually your athletic defense can rally. So, ooh, big fourth down situation here. Definitely big, big, big down here. It's going to be a QB sneak. Travis is going to get enough for the first down. Great play call there for Florida State there, and the Seminoles keep on marching as we get seven seconds left in this first quarter, Coach. Uh, you know, a little, little bit of a sneaky look there, trying to go out, you know, and, and, and the, you know, get all the tight ends out there, get the single back, thinking, hey, maybe there's going to be a run, run by the back, maybe a good play action. Nope. Going to just, QB's just going to say, screw it, I'm taking it. We're getting the first down, and we're fl flipping fields now since it's the end of the first quarter. Now, start of the second quarter, Florida State, first and goal at six. See if they can capitalize on this great field position to get this uh, this score now. Convert some Q downs early on in this drive to keep this drive going. Now they just got to convert five wide. Going to be a QB power for Travis. He's going to get just barely not enough to get the end zone. Five. Okay, to five there, down to one now. What do you do here, coach? I mean, you basically, you theoretically, you put two guys on the center on each shoulder and literally just drive him back as far as you can, especially with how much quarterback run game there's going on. If it's under center, if it's out of the gun, you know, you, you got to be not letting up the A-gap right here. All righty, here we go. Going to be a fullback love touchdown, Florida State, and the Seminoles are on the board. Well... You know, you saw the you saw the trenches right there. The Florida State offensive line drove that Oregon D line about two yards into the end zone. So, you know, fullbacks, grandmas in a wheelchair, it didn't matter who was getting the ball there. They were going to score. Credit yeah. to that offensive line. Offensive line got great push there. Now let's see if Oregon can uh, answer back now with the second drive of theirs. Coda's going to take this one out of the end zone here. Coda off to the left side. Going to get out to about the 24-yard line. Great return. About if you just kind of just sat there in the end zone. But great return for Coda here. Second drive now here for Oregon. Now we saw a mixture of uh, pass and run. Do you think we see the same here, Coach? I think, I think there's going to be a very tempoed approach here. You know, keep, keep them on their toes. All right, going to get, be a handoff to Lou. Lou's going to get a gain of four there. Great push by that offensive line. Was able to get some yards out of there. So great, great play there for Oregon on the first play there on this drive. Yep. Also, great job by the Florida State edge defender there. Really limiting the yardage there to only four. It's going to be a play action here. Butterfield going to roll out to his right. Going to sling this one to Franklin and really, really. Dangerous coverage there, but Franklin is able to bring up the get the ball there for third and one now here for Oregon early on in this drive. Uh, I I think if if you talk to Coach Jimmy about about Butterfield, the one thing the kid's not lacking is confidence because of uh, some of these throws, you know, make you kind of scratch your head a little bit. But you know, it's a result oriented business, so they're they're fitting them in there. Gonna be a handoff to Ferguson. Ferguson's gonna get the first down and a gain of six there. Oregon's drive is gonna keep on moving, like we said. We're a pro fullback league, and we see the fullback again there, coach. Oh yes, you know, as a former fullback at the college level myself, it's always great to see the dinosaurs of football get some love. Yeah, don't see that too much in the in the IRL world of things. Here we go. Going to be a handoff to Lou. Lou's going to get big yards there. Gain a six there. And another great push by the Oregon offensive line. Yep. Say, looks like looks like the trenches are really starting to uh, wear on one another. It looks like both offensive lines are really starting to do well. It's can these defensive lines, you know, whether it's running a stunt, whether it's just owning owning the man across from you, something's got to change with these with these with both these defensive lines going forward. Yeah, something's got to change for the D-lines. Linebackers might have to cut, come. It's going to be a counter play for Lou. Lou's going to get pursued, going to be tripped up, and he's going to be brought down the backfield. Great play by the Florida State 
Seminoles to rally after they tripped up in the backfield for a loss of two. Third and six now here for Fort Oregon offense. Exactly. Like you just said, Clink, rallying to the football. You always talk about, you know, at least in some defensive meetings, you don't mind if, it, if, a, if a guy misses a tackle here and there because the unit should be rallying to the football in just, you know, just, just reckless abandon. And that's what you saw there with the Seminole defense. And, you know, granted, had, had, you know, Lou kind of tripped over his own feet a little bit, but it was because of the, of the rally by the Florida State defense. Now we got third medium here. All righty, here we go. Two wides off to the right of Butterfield. Barking out some orders. Going to sling this one over the middle. It's going to be dropped by Ferguson. What a great, like you said, lacking, not lacking confidence there. Throwing that one in coverage. Now here comes, looks like the punt here unit for the Oregon offense. Great stop there by the Seminoles. Yep, great stop. Great, you know, getting a hand in there and breaking up the pass. All righty here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to get a shank punt at here, folks. Oh, boy. Well, somebody hit somebody hit it off the side of their foot. Side of their foot. Looks like they weren't focused on that punt there. And here we go. Oregon, Florida State's going to take off. Take over at the 37-yard line. Three wide outs to the right. Man in motion now going to bring it from left to right. Travis, Oregon making some adjustments. Here we go, taking the snap. Travis going to stay in the pocket. Going to sling this one deep. He's got a man. He's got a man wide open. Great throw there by giving it to Helton for a game. 37 inside Oregon territory now. Yep, using a little bit of motion, trying to get these Oregon DBs just a little bit out of alignment. And just, you know what, sometimes... You just got to trust your quarterback and your receiver connection. Just throw it up. And the speed of the Florida State receiver got past the DBs. And now we're once again getting close to the red zone for the Seminoles. Seminoles playing guessing ball like Oregon's playing guessing ball with. Going to be a toss to Ward. Ward's going to be brought down the backfield for a loss of four. Great penetration by the Oregon defense there and the linebackers. Yep, especially especially when you get when when you see more of a you know laterally you know trying to get to the perimeter run game that Florida State shows a lot of the time. You better have some linebackers as soon as they as soon as they see a gap open, they better they better shoot it and try to get it get a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And that's what you saw there by Flo. Great, great eyes, great you know vision on on that play. And now it's second and fourteen. Second and 14, two tight ends, two wideouts. Ward off to the right, going to be George. Travis going to fling this one on the Texas route to Ward. He's going to break a tackle, get a game, 15, first down. Inside the red zone now again here for Florida State. Man, it seems like when Florida State needs whatever, whatever yardage they need to pick up a first down, they always get like a yard or two more. You know, it's very efficient offense tonight. And we'll see what they do now in the red zone. Very efficient offense. Gonna be a read option here. Ward's gonna get make a man get off of him. He's gonna get gain five. Great break tackle there for Jordan Travis to pick up five there because he could have been stopped for nothing there. Yep, you know, that's just you know the quarterback being, you know, just wanting the ball, you know, wanting to gain more yards. A little bit with a more of a I don't even know how to say this, but he wanted it more than the defender, Clink. Let's just say that. Definitely want it more than the defender here now. Two, same formation as the last set here. Ward off to the right. Making some adjustments. Making an audible. It looks like going to bring Evie in motion. Going to give this one off to Ward off to the, to the left side. Going to get the first down and more. Six yards there. And now first and goal. Seminoles. And I believe, you know, you see, you see that. I think Florida State. Gets the ball at half, if memory serves me right. You look at the clock now, Clink. You know, Co Coach Bowen starting to take that clock down a little bit, trying to put some pressure on the Oregon, Oregon side if they do get the ball back. Try to have to play play catch up here before the half ends. Yes, definitely. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, Florida does. I mean, Florida State does kick the ball. 
But we'll have to see it here at half. It's gonna be a run to Helton. Helton's gonna be brought down for a loss of two. Great yep. penetration by the Oregon defense there. And just as we say, hey, maybe they're trying to, you know, sandbag it a little bit, try to run off some clock. Coach Tublons is too smart for that. He called his first timeout. Alrighty here, minute 53 left in this half. We got a two wideouts, tight end set to the right. I'm gonna say this one over the tight end. Tight end's gonna break a tackle. There's no one there to make a move. Oregon's defense is flowing to the ball there. Getting a one. Third and goal now at the seven yard line here for Florida State. A little bit of a bend but don't break philosophy, it seems like, from this from this Ducks defense. And you know what? Be, being a philosophy of similarly IRL myself, you know, 20 to 20 will we'll give up yards all day. But when it comes to the red zone, you're going to have to earn it. And that's definitely what we're seeing here. The Seminoles are going to have to earn earn this uh, th earn this touchdown right here. Definitely had to earn it for sure. Oregon's defense has been tough in the red zones this year. Three wide outs, tight end, set off like an H back here. Oregon's making some adjustments. Now it's going to send this over to the tight end. Tight end's going to step out at the three yard line, gain a four. If he stayed in bounds, he could have scored. Most certainly. Got a little bit too much momentum going toward. Go, going towards his outs, going towards the sideline. Couldn't keep himself in bounce. Now, here's the big decision. Do you take the points if you're Florida State, you know, and at least at least have a lead temporarily? Or do you try to really put some pressure on this Ducks unit, trust your offense, and put try to put it in the end zone? My experience here, Coach, this is a very tough angle for a field goal. So I, if I'm taking a guess, since Bowen is going to go for this, then that's what it's going to do. Tight set here. Ward off to the right. Going to sling this one off to Ward. Ward's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. You know? Very gutsy call, but it, it paid off for Cincy there. Yeah, it seems like the underneath stuff is what Oregon is willing to give up, even if it's in the red zone. And came back to haunt them right there. And, you know, Seminoles take a lead. Still got a minute 42 left in this game. Still got one timeout in this half, I mean. So let's see if what they can do to answer here before half, because this could be very big if they score and get the ball back after half. It could be a two for one right here. Kata's gonna take this one. Gonna run into his uh blocker there, gonna get off to about the 30. They're gonna say the 29 yard line. Alright. So now if you're coach coach Jimmy here, you're talking to Butterfield, he's been slinging the ball all over the place. Try to keep him composed here. And see if you can calmly go down the field here before the end of the half. All righty. We've got a tight end. Two wide outs to the left. Lemon Pepper Lou off to the right. Going to sling this one over to Franklin. Franklin's going to get the catch and step out of bounds. Saving some time. 19 yards for Troy Franklin. A great play drawn up by Florida or Oregon there on offense. Tell your receivers, man, when they get close to the sideline, time to dead leg your feet. You know what I mean? Try, try to keep those feet as my dogs are going crazy. Hang on. I'll have to step away, fellas. All righty, here we got a tight end to the right. Two tight end uh, wide outs to the right side. Butterfield going to take the snap. Going to send this one over to Franklin. Franklin's got the first down and more inside Seminoles territory. And they're going to go hurry up here. Great play there by F Oregon. Florida State's going to call a timeout here to get the defense set up here, guys. Great play on the last play. Just get the curls with the girls, as Jim would like to call them. And Frank going to the star wideout Franklin there, who's been very dominant this year, leading the nation and receiving yards. Butterfield in the backfield with Lute off to his left tight end. Receiver off to the right, two tight ends. It's going to be a counter play to Lou. Lou's got plenty of room off to the left side. Going to make a man miss. Get a, only get a gain of three, though. Looks like Oregon's trying to drain this clock as much as they can before half, giving Florida State no chance to get the ball back before this quarter ends here. Butterfield going to take the snap now. Going to roll off to his right. Got nobody open. He's going to slant. Going to fumble the ball. The ball is on the field, and my goodness, that's a big turnover here for Florida State's defense. Oh, boy. I just came flying back into the booth. Oh, goodness. 
Very Ooh, unfortunate Oregon. there. Oh, if you're Oregon, that one hurts, especially right before the half. But you know, can can your defense kind of kind of you know rally the troops here? You know, steady the ship. What 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 have you? We'll see what see what the Seminole offense can do here with a minute to go. Three wideouts to the right side here. One off to the left. Ward off to Travis's left side here. We're gonna take the snap. We're gonna roll off to his right. Got plenty of green in front of him. We're gonna sling this one over deep. Got the man open. Gonna get down into two. Oh, it's a touchdown! What a great play there. Travis took his time, set his feet, and slung the ball downfield. The Seminoles are gonna score before half here. Sudden changes in possession usually result in explosive plays. What a throw by Travis. What an effort by the receiver getting down there. Now we got a two-score game before half. Thing is, it looks like Coach Jimmy had the defense to cover four, and looks like they found the loophole in that, and they scored off of it. Now Dollar's going to take this one out of the end zone, going to make a man, shrug a man off, going to get out to about the 24-yard line. 25, 46 left, seconds left, and a timeout still left for Oregon. No need to rush anything, really. Yep, just it's kind of fine. Yep, Go ahead, just, Coach. Yeah, just play it safe here. You know, you don't want to have the same mistake happen, just happen in the last drive, but at the same time, you want to try to at least get a field goal here before half. Definitely want to get something here right before half here. But if you're going to take the snap, give it to McCormick, first down, Oregon, and – Cobb's going to stop here. They got time to play hurry up here and get get a play called in. Two tight ends set. Franklin off to the right side. But if you're going to step back, we'll give this one to McCormick again. McCormick get the first down. And clock stops again as they did get the first down. 11 yeah. yards. Tackle them inbound. So as soon as the chains are set, this clock's going to start rolling, Clink. All righty, here looks like they got a play set up. Franklin's going to move over to the left with the other wide receiver. Two tight ends set now again. Going to be a fake handoff to Lou. Going to sling this one over to Franklin. Franklin's got the ball. 21-yard gain. Clock stops again, coach. Hey, you know, it's been working really well here. You know, Butterfield's been making some key throws under pressure. And we are going to have to see... You know, as they approach the red zone here, time management here, you, you, want, you want to score, obviously, quick as you can, but at the same time, you don't want to give this Florida State offense the ball back with any time left either. Now, as you saw last possession, they can score pretty quickly here. Three wideouts going to be a slinging over to Franklin. Franklin's got the ball again. Clock stops again. 20 seconds left in this half to go. Oregon's going to go hurry up here. Smart decision there, taking what they give you. Still have plenty of time. But if you're going to step back, going to send this one over to the end zone, it's going to be caught by Franklin. Touchdown, Oregon. What a toe drag. And, and literally, and people say go to the back pylon. The man was literally on the back pylon. Great throw, great catch. And the Ducks are going to bring it back into a one possession lead. Possession game. One possession game. That was key. Key drive there for Oregon and bring this game closer before half. 16 seconds left. Two timeouts for Florida State, though. So thanks. Could still take a twist here before half, everybody. See what Coach Cincy Bowen and his Florida State Sentinels draw up here before half. Lewis going to kick this one to the right side. Looks like it's going to be out of the end zone, so out to the 25-yard line. As we get the lights coming on here in Oxford Stadium. Nope. No, no, if you're Florida State, you got two timeouts, 16 seconds. You probably got four, maybe five plays if, if you do it right. All righty, here we got Ward off to the left to Travis. Travis making some play. Uh adjustments. Oregon, the defense is also making some adjustments here. Going to take the snap. Going to drop back. Going to stay in the pocket. Going to sling this one deep to the left side. Going to be caught inbounds by Travis Evie for a big monster game of 39 yards. Wow. That perfect was throw. Perfect catch. Perfect throw. Perfect catch. 
perfect coverage there by the defender. Unfortunately, Evie's just able to go up and get that ball. Indeed. Now you're in field goal range, potentially, for Florida State. You know, you keep your foot on the gas. Heck, you're not that far away from the compared to the last play to, to scoring again. Alrighty, here we go. Two wideouts tied into the right. One wide receiver. Evie off to the left. Ward off to the left. Travis here. Travis going to take the snap. Travis going to send this one to Ward. Ward's going to make the man miss. We get the first down and more. Six seconds left now here in this quarter. And Florida State's now going to take the second timeout here. Okay, so six seconds to go. Oh, I was going to say, you know, yeah, might have a chance to pull another playoff if you really want to. But it looks like the Seminoles are, are trotting out the field goal unit. Field goal unit comes on the field here. Wind's coming from right to left. And Oregon, uh, Oregon's going to take the last time out here. Try to ice this kicker, maybe. Already here. Wind coming from right to left from the situation here. Going to take the snap about a 40 yarder. He's going to nail it through the uprights. Three seconds left. 24 14. Florida State over Oregon right now. Great kick there by the, the field goal kicker there to get that three up and up go go up the uprights there. Ferguson's gonna get this one. It's gonna be one second left. This could still be dangerous. They still got Franklin to cover here if you're Florida State's defense. Yep, and it's at the 45 yard line. So, with the way Butterfield's been slinging the ball in this first half, it's definitely within his um, arm strength, I think, for him to get it to the end zone. But we'll see. Maybe send some pressure to try to force the throw to be early. Who knows? Sling this one over to Franklin's way. It's going to be knocked down. That's going to be the end of the first half, everybody, as we have Florida State up 24-14 over the Ducks. Coach, what can you take away from that first half? I think, you know, both offenses are being very, you know, methodical going down the field. You're seeing some explosive plays, especially from Florida State. But I think the key in the first half was that fumble. Right, Butterfield scrambling out there, trying to make a play. And the fumble really cost him. And then Florida State made him pay on the next drive. Yeah, that only difference right now in the turnover department is that lost fumble. Pretty evenly running the ball so far. Florida State's got 41 yards, and Oregon's got 40 yards rushing. They both got a touchdown on the ground. Well, like we said, Coach, that only mistake that we have on the, the scoreboard that is that lost fumble by Butterfield. Yep, and um, the Ducks get the ball, so my fault on that. I thought it was the other way around. But now we'll see what the Ducks can do. They're going to have to play. They're going to have to be smart on offense, and they're going to have to try to somehow steal possession on defense. Most definitely. Kata's going to get this one and at the goal line. Going to take it up middle of the field. Going to get up about 26-yard line here. That's where the Oregon offense will start the second, their first drive this second half here. Yep. If you're, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Clink. You're good. If you're Oregon, you might want to just try to chew as much clock as you can. As we've seen, Florida State's been a little, little more explosive here. But <clears throat> got to do what you got to do to get in the end zone, though. Most well, certainly. All right, here. It's going to be a counter play here to Lou. Lou's going to get room off to the left side. Great block by the wide receiver. He's going to get a gain of 11. First down, Oregon. The counter, the counter is working, man. You say, if you get Lou in, in space, you know, he's a dangerous man. Lou's a very, know. very dangerous man in space there, Coach. Alrighty here, first down, 10 again. Gonna be a stretch play off to Lou. Lou's got blocks off to the left side. Gonna get a gain of 10, another first down here. And it looks like the Oregon offense going to the running game. Shout out to the fullbacks. I mean, the fullback picked up picked up the screaming safety down there, linebacker, whoever that was. Man left, man left. Lou shut, shut off a would-be tackler and got another first down. 
great great block by that fullback for sure here we go play action now here for Lou He's going to sling this one deep Florida defenders going to pick it off what an unfortunate turn of events Florida State picks the ball off looks like the wide receiver was in no man's land there yep didn't 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 find the football the Florida State safety was over the top just a very uh poorly executed play all righty here Florida State coming out with two backs in the backfield now audible into a new formation here three wide outs to the right Third off to his left gonna be a QB power to Travis Travis got room making a couple man's to miss nine yards on the play Travis just running behind his pads. Looks, are we sure? Are we sure he only plays quarterback? Clink. Uh, at this point, I, I I don't know. I think he play quarterback, running back, maybe some fullback. The way his power's showing. Two wideouts, tight ends off to the right. Going to be a fake handoff to Ward. Ward's going. to Travis Scott, Evie open. Evie's got open field off to the ten five. Going to make a man miss. Touchdown, Florida State. Florida State's throwing the ball like it's no tomorrow. Explosive play, explosive play, explosive plays. I think that's three or four big plays like that. And Florida State on offense is just rolling. Florida State's offense is rolling so far today. And Travis Evie's come up big last two possessions for Florida State here. That one big catch to get them inside Oregon territory. And then that big touchdown, Kyle is going to take this one out and get out to about the 18-yard, 17-yard line. Going to bring up a big possession here for the Oregon Ducks to get them back in this game. Indeed. You know, you fill that out of this, but you need to, if you're, if you're Butterfield, you need to take care of the football a little bit better. All right, here, Lou's going to get a big block by the fullback. Lou's got plenty of room. Going to get out to about... The 34-yard line, big gain. Oregon ro rolling on the ground. Looks like they need to go back, keep going on the ground, Coach. That they've been really successful running the ball behind the fullback there today, and <clears throat> Butterfield's just not take care of the ball. So run, run with Lou. Right, and you know the easiest way to help a young quarterback is to, is to get a good running game going. And that's definitely what the Ducks have been able to do here. Alrighty, here tight end receiver off to the right. It's gonna be another counter play for Lou. Lou's going to cut this one up field. He's going to get a gain of seven. Bringing up a second and second three now here. And we got Lou run, rumbling, stumbling over this defense. Exactly. Now, well, you, you know, now you, have, now you really established the running game on this drive. Maybe a play action sometime in the near future would be, you know, a great option to at least suck those linebackers in and maybe get an explosive play of your own. Yes, most definitely here. It's going to be a handoff to Lou again. Lou's going to cut this one back, get the first down. First down, first down 10 now. Inching uh, closer to the midfield here for Oregon. Exactly. Doing a great job. I mean, the, you know, that was that was kind of a, that was kind of a uh, outside zone play right there, trying to go to the left. Really, the whole wall was built up there with Florida State defenders. Lou cuts it back to the, to the open gap, picks up a first down. All righty, here coming back out. Lou off to the left of Butterfield, two wideouts. Gonna be a counter play to Lou again. Lou's got plenty of. Sp Ooh, looks like if he doesn't cut that back inside, he had room out to the outside there, coach. But another big gain there, four yards. And they're really establishing the run in this drive. They definitely are. You know, when you get out to open space, you teach your, you teach your backs to go hash numbers, then sideline. And, uh, you know. Trying to make, trying to make a little bit, a bit too much hero ball, but you know what? It happens. All right, here, Butterfield's going to take the snap, going to roll off to his right. Got no one. He's going to take off, and he's going to get hammered down for a loss of nothing there. <laughs> and and we... Coach, Coach Tubons is not very happy with that, with that scramble there. No, he was uh. He wants the kid to make a decision, and I guess he wanted to tuck it late, but um, looked like his feet were in quicksand real, real fast right there. So, you know, it's third and manageable here. And you probably, you know, I think if you're coach two blunts, you might have to think about four down territory, especially being 
down three scores right now, but we'll see what the Ducks got for this third down play. All righty, here we got a five wide set here. Butterfield going to take the snap. Butterfield going to sling this one over to Chapman. Chapman's going to get the first down, and the Oregon Ducks is going to keep on rolling here. Yep, smart decision. You know, the underneath route, little little out route was open. Spit it out there, move the chains. Take what the defense gives you. All righty here, going to bring up a first down 10 inside Florida State territory now. Going to come out with a I-form formation, two wide outs, tight end to the left. They block out some orders to the right. Fullbacks, we get a great block, and then the tackle's not going to be able to get out to the... Who? what a missed assignment there by the tackle there. Unless Luke could have been gone. Yeah. Wide no. receivers were blocking great. And then, unfortunately, that tackle is just not able to make that uh, block there, Coach. You, you tell your big boys up front to block the most dangerous guy in that situation. He did not do that. <clears throat> All righty here. Two tight ends set. Two wide outs to the left. Butterfield going to roll out to his right. Got a defender trailing him. He's going to be sacked for a loss of two. This Florida State defense is flying around. <laughs> The speed of this Seminole defense is making a lot of these throws you saw early in these running lanes pulls up very fast. Butterfield going to take the snap. He's going to be get this one just off, and he didn't have no time on that play to even look over the field. This looks like it's going to be four down territory here for Oregon. As Coach Two Blunts is yelling at his line to block somebody, give his quarterback some time. Yep. You know, it looks like the Florida State defensive line has made the adjustments coming out of half that they needed to to really kind of set the tone for you know, getting pressure on Butterfield. Butterfield going to take this one, give it to Kata. Kata's going to drop this one. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Very unfortunate there for the Oregon offense. Kata's not able to make that catch in traffic there. Makes that catch, he gets the first down, and possibly some extra yards there. You know, being down three scores, you can't afford to have your receiver drop the ball on fourth down. You know, that's just really unfortunate by the Ducks. But here comes, here comes the running gun, Florida State offense again. All righty, here going to be a handoff here to Ward off the right side. Oregon defenders everywhere, going to get only a gain of two there. Great defensive play there here for Oregon. You know, for the run, from a run defense perspective, Oregon's played very well. It's just those explosive plays in the passing game that have really hit them in the rear end so far. Gonna be another handoff to Ward, and there's nowhere to go for a loss of one. Oregon defense getting penetration now. Mm -hmm. Most certainly. The linebackers are being hyper aggressive, which I mean, at this point in the game, you're down three scores. Your opponent, you know, you, you, the offense is trying to run the ball a little bit, melt some clock. You got to be aggressive, but not on third, not in third and long. No, definitely not third and long, Travis. Going to take the snap now. Going to looks like a screen play to Ward. Ward's got room. Going to make a man miss. He's going to be brought down just short of the first down, fourth and two. Great defensive stop there by Oregon. Very good job. You know, trip him up, do whatever, scratch, claw, untie his shoe. Whatever you could do to, for, to force the Florida State punt here, and that's exactly what they did. All right, as Florida's on the field to punt this ball away here. We got just under a minute left this third quarter before we hit the fourth quarter. Oregon's got to do something on this possession on offense. Kyle. We make the first two defenders miss. Going to make another man miss. He's going to get out about 29 yard line. That's where the Oregon offense will take over here with 35 seconds left in this third quarter. Talk about making a lot out of a out of very little. I think Coda did an amazing job there breaking two tackles, making another guy miss, and getting about, what, about 10 yards on that return. He did a good job. About 10 yards on that return. Oregon coming out with the I formation here. Franklin going to come in motion now from right to left. <clears throat> going to be a stretch play to Lou. Lou going to get brought down the backfield. And the, and the tight end is going to not be able to make that block. If he makes that block, lose off the races. Indeed. 
I don't know whether it's the offensive line for Oregon's just starting to get a little bit fatigued in this game, or the Florida State defense of the line starting to get a little bit more juice, but this is a different, it's a different uh, result than what we saw in the first half. Definitely a different result. Going to be a counterplay to Lou. Lou's going to make a most out of nothing. They're going to get a gain of five, and that should be the last play of the third quarter here as we hit the fourth quarter, everybody. Here on the NWO League, get your fours up in the chat. Going to bring up a third down, six now here to start the fourth quarter here for Oregon. Coach, what's Oregon got to do to get back in this game in this quarter? They got to find some explosive plays of their own. You know, the clock is their worst enemy right now. They got to score and not take much time off the clock. All right, here, Butterfield in the pocket. Going to make play action. It's going to be overthrowing Franklin and... Franklin's just not able to make a play there. No. Going to bring up a big fourth and six here on their side. The field here for Oregon. Oregon's got to find a way to convert this one. Most certainly. <clears throat> no, I don't know. I don't know what the receiver's deal was, though. That was a catchable ball, but he just made a business decision not to. Yes, yeah, so it was a very catchable ball. And Butterfield... Alrighty, here Florida State going to take over on their side of the field. Going to bring a man in motion. Looks like a triple option. Going to fling this one over to Hilton. Hilton's going to make a man miss. Going to get a gain of two here. Yep, great triple option defense there. The quarterback did a great job pitching the ball out at the absolute last second. But the corner defeated the receiver's block, and then the Oregon defense swarm. You know. You got to give the Oregon run defense credit today. I mean, they have really taken out, really limited Ward and Travis for the most part from really killing them on the ground. It's just, you know, a, kind of a lack of getting pressure to, to Travis has really opened up those explosive plays. Yeah, definitely. Florida State's taken away most of the running game. It's going to be a, a triple option play. Gonna sling this one out to uh, number nine there. He's gonna get the first down, and Florida State's gonna keep on marching here. Yeah. To the yep. fully. A little bit different wrinkle of a triple option there. Kind of got caught the Oregon defense off guard. Um, guy did a really good job pulling this playing both of them to really limit that from being almost an almost a touchdown play. Yeah, definitely it was almost a touchdown. The triple option play. Going to cover this one up nicely. Loss of two here for Travis. Great play by the great, great play by the Oregon defense there. Tried and you know, just called the old flipper play, you know. Run the same play, but go the other way, and uh, the ducks were ready for it. They most certainly were. Second and 12 now. Same formation. Triple option play. Read option now. And that's going to be loss of four here. The Oregon defense is getting very aggressive here. Yeah, they have to sell out right here, Clink. You know, it's do or die. You can give up. I mean, if you give up a field goal here, it doesn't really change too much for you. I mean, you have to score three touchdowns. But <laughs> you really can't give up a first down here if you're Oregon. No, definitely not. Third and 16 now. It looks like two uh, just a tight end, two tight ends. We have play action award. Oregon's defense is getting there. Going to sling this one. Incomplete pass. Fourth down. Fourth and 16 now. Great uh, drive there by the Oregon defense. Yeah, you know, like like we just said, you know, especially after the situation that just happened on their offensive side, you know, they bent. They didn't break. And... Ben, but don't break it. That's the, the theme pretty much of this league. If you can cause three points instead of seven in this league, you got a great chance of winning. All right, here, Cody's going to get out to about the 26 yard line here. We talked about the urgency that Oregon had to have on that last drive. I think you pretty much put your urgency level meter up to 11 right now. You got to get you got to get yards and, and in a very quick fashion. All right, here going to get this off to Ferguson. Ferguson's going to be brought down for a loss of, or for a gain of zero. 
Florida State defense playing very, very good today. They they've shut down Lemon Pepper's big runs and they've shut down everything else pretty much today. All right, here, hand off to Lou. Lou's going to get the stretch play. There's absolutely no block in there. Warman. And I don't think we've heard much of, of um, was it Thornton, the receiver for Oregon? We haven't really heard him. The guy with the star underneath his name. We haven't really heard much from him today. Florida State's kind of just took him out of the game plan, and it's pretty much been, uh, you know, put on the sh put everything on the shoulders of Butterfield and Lou and see if, they, see if it'll work out. So yeah, Tyler Thornton right Franklin. there. Oh, Franklin, yeah. Franklin hasn't done a good job getting open. He had that, he had that one touchdown earlier on. And he's got that catch there. He had that one big drive before half there. And then we've not heard really much of him here in the second half. Oregon, I mean, Florida State's done a really good job taking him out of the game plan today. We definitely have, you know. You, you, you can't really stop any of these receivers in the NWL, but you definitely can contain them at times. And it's going to be a tight window thrown. And Ferguson's going to drop this one. The tight Damn. window throws that Butterfield was getting early in this game seem to have been closed up a little bit. Whether it's the receivers dropping them or the Florida State defenders getting getting a finger tip on them, it's making it a lot more difficult for old Butterfield and the Ducks to get to get this ball moving. All right, here Butterfield going to take the snap now. I'm going to sling this one over to Lou. Lou's going to make a great catch, but doesn't quite get the first down. But a heck of a catch there by Lou to go up there and get that one. Third down and one now here at the 50 yard line. Yeah, Lou's ribs got to be hurting after that one. He took a shot but hung on to the ball. Yeah, definitely. All right, here. Going to be a play action to Lou now. Going to sling this one over to Franklin. Franklin's going to make a great catch. First down 10 inside Seminole territory. All right, so we talk about Franklin being a little bit quiet. And this, this drive, he's kind of been like, all right, you guys want you guys want to chirp it about me a little bit. I'll show you. Alrighty, here gonna be another play action to Lou. Lou's gonna sling this one over to Kata. Kata's gonna get this. They're gonna get out of bounds. First down inside the 20 yard line. Oregon reaches the red zone for the first time in the second half. Nice play action there. Took took the easy deal with the throw, and you know what? The back of the red zone. Alrighty here. Butterfield gonna take the stack with launch this one. Franklin makes a great catch. Touchdown, Oregon. And Oregon's not out of this one quite yet. That was a disgusting back shoulder throw and an even better catch. My goodness. All right. I ain't talking about Franklin no more. <laughs> okay. He proved. I'm, I'm just going to shut up about him up here. Well, I mean, we, we like we said, we could contain him to the most part, for the most part. Like we said, that's like the first job we've seen Franklin have any kind of shot this whole second half, really. And, and now... Looks like uh, Florida State's going to get great field position to start this drive. After the onside kick goes out of bounds. Yeah, unfortunate that the ball, you know, you want you want that big pop on, on that third bounce, but uh, you don't want that third bounce going into the fifth row. Most definitely not. Here we go. We counter play to Ward. Ward's going to have to cut this one up. Going to be brought down after a gain of five. As we march closer to the two-minute... Two minutes left in this game. Yep. If you're for Coach Two Blunts, you would love to get off the field here without having to burn a timeout. I don't know if that'll be the case. We'll have to see. Uh, bunch set off to the right. Going to be a read option. Travis has got plenty of room up the middle. He's going to be brought down after a game of about 10 there. First down and 10 now inside the 30-yard line of Oregon. Yeah, and talk about that timeout situation. I think now you're pretty much in... You know this this first and ten series has to be pretty much the end the end one of the game for you. Most definitely. Here we go. We got Ward off going off right side, and he's gonna get a gain of ten. It's gonna be a first down and ten here for Florida State inside the twenty now. Oh, man, getting 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 rolled over bodies instead of hit hitting the turf. Ward got a got a very fortunate role right there, literally. He most definitely did. And first down ten now here at the fifteen. Can still get a first down at the five. Yeah. 
Alrighty here. Go ahead and melt some clock as we're under two minutes now. Give me a handoff up the middle here for Ward. Ward's going to get gain to nothing there. Oregon's going to burn their first time out. And it looks like Ward's a little bit shaken up after that play. No, he's been carrying he's been carrying the Seminoles here in the second half. And we'll we'll have to get an update from our sideline reporter here in a minute, but hopefully he'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. We don't want anybody to miss extended time in this league. Because everybody is truly important to the teams that we have here. Already here, two tight ends set. Tala Tua Philly is in the backfield now with uh, Travis. And Travis is going to make the quarterback power. He's got plenty of room up the middle. He's going to get the first down and get about the four-yard line. And it's going to be a first and goal now here for Florida State. Yeah, I think that's going to probably... That's probably yeah. going to end the game. Well, I mean, technically, you can still take your timeouts and have a chance, but you're going to have very little time on the back end of it. So we'll we'll see. We'll see what Florida State wants to do here. Do they just run the ball? Do they take a knee? Who knows? Looks like they're just going to take a knee here, Coach. It's been a very well-played game for both coaches today. Just one had to come out victorious tonight. Travis is going to take a knee here with a little over a minute here left in the game. And, <clears throat> Coach, we, we've got a – it's been a heck of a game here tonight. We've had uh, – we talked kind of shit about Travis uh, – or Franklin. Franklin proved us wrong. Had two big uh, drives, the last – the first one there uh, right before half, and then that last drive of Oregon there. And uh, what can you say about Travis's play today? Travis has played his – Best ball since probably first couple of weeks there, and um, Florida State going to be able to come out of here with the victory today. Yeah, you know Travis pretty much he didn't really make a mistake. He put he put his receivers in a really good spot. Sometimes threw it up to him, and the receivers did a really good job being on the same page. And um, you know they they made the big plays when they needed to. And yeah. you know if if you're Oregon, you know. Kind of going to be a little bit of a bitter loss for you. He gave up. He gave up the the rock a couple times. You know, it, it's it's very unfortunate. Um, because I think this game being a thirteen point game is not indicative of how close this game actually was. Yeah, uh, most definitely. This game was a lot closer than what numbers say. <clears throat> um, so we got Oregon going to. Uh, be playing A and M next week, and then looks like Florida State's going to get a buy, a couple of buys here. Uh, so, Florida State's going to get a uh, a win here before the buy. So it's going to be huge. And then we've got Oregon going to uh, the A and M. A great game here by by the, both coaches. It was pretty well balanced by, by both teams tonight. It looks like uh, Oregon did win the rushing total tonight, and just the major errors on the, the scoreboard tonight was just a fumble lost by Butterfield and the pick he threw there to begin the second half off. Um, but let's get the winning coach on in here, everybody. Let's get Mr. Cincy Bowen on in here. What's up, Clint? What's up, Coach? Great win tonight by you here uh, in your Seminoles. Uh, <clears throat> what can you say? Uh, what kind of adjustments did you make after that first half there? Um, we really didn't make too many adjustments. I mean, we just, uh, bared down. Uh, we switched over to the four, three, a little bit. Um, just try to play him tight. Cause he had a great run game going. Um, every time he busted off one of those counters, it was for at least eight to 15 yards. So we had to kind of put that in check. And, uh, like Snasa just says, when you, uh, force people to pass the ball, that's when you can hopefully make them to make a mistake. And, uh, I think that just maybe that one interception probably, uh, divided us. Yeah, that that one pick. Well, he also and... had that. He also had that big fumble as well. Um, um, one of my guys stripped it out, and Bowen came up with it. Yeah, uh, coach, what can you say about you guys going over five on third down today? Uh, definitely need to um, clean that up. I uh, didn't know that stat until now. Um, I need to get better analytics crew out here. Um, <laughs> but it was supposed to be Matthew starting today, but after a long week of practice, Travis really proved himself and. Uh, Got back out here, but we're definitely going to have to work on the third downs. All righty, Coach. Well, good luck to you. It looks like you got a couple uh, bye weeks coming on up. 
what's going to be kind of the the workout for the boys here. Yeah, we got uh, one bye week, and then I think we play the uh, Miami. So it's just going to be uh, a lot of film sessions and uh, homework. And we're going to get back out there and uh, try to keep this uh, keep this uh, winning streak uh, going if we can. Uh, try to make it too. All righty, Coach. Good luck. I'm going to send you off to Coach Bruce here. Appreciate it, Clint. Coach, uh, very well played game. Very clean game um, from from our perspective. Talk to us. You know, you said you made the decision to go with Travis. I think in hindsight, obviously, it was a uh, good decision for you. Uh, talk about his, his uh, you know, pretty much having, having the ability to persevere over, you know, sometimes being in, sometimes being out, and the ability he had to, you know, get his receivers the ball in some really, really critical situations. Yeah, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, he had a foot fracture, had a couple bad games. Um, but like I said, after this week, um, we announced Travis was going or uh, Travis going to be benched. Um, then we saw a remarkable amount of uh, effort from him this week. He said he felt healthy, um, was putting up dimes. I mean, it was undeniable. Um, flat out, he just beat Matthews out in the uh, open practice this week. So we had to go with him. I'm glad we did, and uh, it worked out for us. But like Clank said, we just need to clean, clean up the uh, third downs. Yep, most certainly. Um, as you look forward, you know. I think at times, you know, your defense really showed, especially your defensive line, especially in the second half, I think they kind of almost took over this ball game, right? Like you were going to, you're going to give up a run here and there, but talk about your defensive line group and how, you, how you can continue to get more pressure on the quarterbacks going forward. Yeah. We just need to make sure we have a, a good front four. Um, we got a lot of young kids down there. They're only going to get stronger and tougher because they're young. Um, so we have a, a nice young crew that's going to grow together. And hopefully as they get more chemistry, as we get through the year, um, they come one of the best lines to come for the next couple of years. Yeah, most certainly. When we took a look at your depth chart in the pregames, when we faced you here at Wisconsin prior, you know, this Florida State team is only going to be more terrifying as the years go by. So well done, Coach, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate Jimmy. Good game. Um, and everybody have a great night. Appreciate everybody. All right, guys, that's your winning coach of the night in the Florida Seminoles here. Let's go ahead and get uh, Mr. Two Blunts here on in on the booth. What's up, fellas? What's up, coach? And it's a tough loss to chew here after having uh, two dominant weeks here on the ground uh, against my Tennessee Vols and uh, Baylor Bears. Uh, what, what kind of was your point of perspective here? What was going wrong tonight? The line sold. They couldn't block anything. Uh, credit his D-line for just completely making my O-line look like shit. Basically, that's it. They won the line of scrimmage. All right, Coach. And what, what did you kind of say to Butterfield after you lost that fumble there right before half? <sighs> I threatened his job a little bit. Um, just told him to keep going out there and just hang on to the ball. That's all you can really say. He, uh, he's he got a really high carry, a really high break tackle, so it was really surprising to see him turn that over right there. All right, Coach. And one my last question here, what can you kind of say uh, about your defense tonight? Is there anything you guys need to work on going on forward, or did you think they played pretty decently well for what they got uh, handed to them there from the offense? Uh, the secondary needs to clean things up. You need to catch the ball better, stop letting things behind him, and, yeah, just block better. Lou probably could have had 200 yards today if they would have just blocked a lot better. All righty, Coach. I'm going to give you off to Coach Brusso here. <clears throat> Keep your head up and um, get him next week. <clears throat> or, yeah, get him next week against A&M here. All right, Coach. Um, like we say, you know, in this game, there's no moral victories, right? You know, no matter how close or how far far away a game was, an L is an L, and you move on. Um, talk about, you know, I thought, you know, your offensive line did not play the best game, right? Um, I'm a little bit, you know, you might have to go back into the film room and talk, maybe have your receiver coach get pulled in a little bit, because it seems like at times your receivers either did not know the ball was around them or didn't really go for the ball. Care to make a comment about that? Yeah, it's just that this this online lag is just really bad sometimes, and 
trying to control a guy and trying to hit triangle and whatnot is just sometimes a mess. I feel you on that. Definitely been there more more than my fair share. Um, as you progress through the season, your, your your team overall, especially you know from the offensive side of the ball, is starting to get a little bit of momentum. Um, you know, if you clean up these explosive plays on defense, um, talk about you know as the season progresses, you're going to we dropped to two and four this year. Um, talk about the growth and development your team's kind of taken from week one now, and where do you see it going? It's like a roller coaster, you know. We were down the first couple of weeks, then we were up, and now we're back down. So I just got to figure out what's going on up front and why we look so bad. I don't, I don't know why. I think maybe just his D line is just that good, but we couldn't block middle schoolers tonight. I guess we don't get any more display. What the fuck, man? I hate technology. Uh... Already. All right, Coach, we can definitely tell you're a little bit frustrated. Uh-huh. Um, keep Ready keep... to go. <clears throat> <laughs> keep your head up, Coach. It's a long season, and uh, we'll, 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 catch you, we'll catch you in Madison here at the end of the year. Appreciate you guys. Good game, Cincy. Hell of a game, uh, Coaches. Uh, we'll be back uh, Tuesday night, late late night. We've got a Tuesday 10.30 uh, p.m. Eastern time game. We've got Miami and Michigan. Uh, Coach, what kind of uh, what kind of game can we look forward to that? Well, you know when the Hurricanes are going to come flying around, you're going to have some lockdown defense. You know, it's going to be a very you know kind of like this game. There's going to be some very athletic players on the field, some very explosive offenses. You know, came down really in this game to whoever you know took care of the football, and I think it could definitely go that way on Tuesday night. But we'll have to see. Yeah, definitely. It's going to, uh, we got Blake Corum, the most probably most explosive running back in this league as of right now. Uh, going up against a very great uh, and fast uh, Miami defense. Um, so it's going to come down who's going to take care of the ball uh, better. And um, But we'll see you guys all Tuesday night. Let's go show the man uh, the real tight spot some love. We all appreciate everybody coming out on this Sunday night. I know it's Sunday night football. Uh, we all appreciate it. And we'll all see you guys Tuesday night.